simple mathematics called equal distance reveals the hidden name of Yeshua throughout the Tanakh. Elohim devised a simple way to find the sacred name of the coming Messiah, encoded in hundreds of places throughout the Hebrew Tanakh, which has been revealed only as Yeshua. This method was popularized by the late Yaakov Ramsel from the tribe of Judah. Yaakov spent thousands of hours carefully examining the Hebrew text and manually finding the sacred name of Yeshua, Yod Shin Vav Ayin, without the aid of a computer, which requires extreme patience. You can find his book, Yeshua, the name that is revealed in code in the Old Testament, Yaakov Ramsel. The Holy Scriptures declares for us to be like little children. Therefore, Elohim devised a simple system using first or second grade level mathematics to find his sacred name throughout the Tanakh in the Hebrew language. Please attempt to examine these and other Hebrew scriptures and try the divine equal distancing yourself utilizing your version of the name of Messiah and see if it stands up to this level of scrutiny. Here are just a few examples. Let's take a look at the famous Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 verse 8. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the lands of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased Yodhevave to bruise him, yet put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of yod heh shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servants justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is the passage that is avoided by the Orthodox Jews. And this is why. Encoded within the verses of 8 through 11, we find, My name is Yeshua. Also, we have the word Mashiach. By counting from the bottom going up, every 20th letter, you'll see in the green, it spells Yod, Shin, which is shared with Mashiach, therefore it's blue. The next one, Vav in green, the 20th letter. And the last one of the name is Ayin, for Yeshua. It continues, the next 20th letter is Shin, the next 20th letter, Mem, and then the last letter, Yod, which again gives us, my name is Yeshua. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Hidden away for all the world to see, if only if they would look into the Hebrew. Make no mistake, brothers and sisters, that some in the Orthodox community are completely aware that the name of the Mashiach is Yeshua, which means salvation. Unfortunately, they're keeping this precious name from their followers. So let's take a look at another one. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 10. It reads, And he that is the high priest among his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and that is consecrated to put on the garments, shall not uncover his head, nor rend his clothes. Question, who is our high priest? Well, the text gives us the answer. It's Yeshua. Every third letter, beginning from the far right, going left, we have He, Nun, Dalit, Mem, Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin. And it gives a beautiful message. Behold, the blood of Yeshua, and who is it that atones for our sin? The precious blood of Yeshua. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Isn't that beautiful? Leviticus 20, verse 26 reads, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, yod heh the Tetragrammaton, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that you should be mine. A man also, or woman, that hath a familiar spirit, or that is, a wizard shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Question, by whom 
And what are we atoned by? Well, Leviticus 20, 26 reads, Dalit mem yod shin vav ayin, every seventh letter. That gives us the blood of Yeshua. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Our Father is a miracle worker. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 12. And I said unto them, If ye think good, give me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver. And the tetragrammaton said unto me, Cast it unto the potter, a goodly price, that I was valued at of them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver, and cast them to the potter in the house of Yodhe the tetragrammaton. How many pieces of silver was Yeshua betrayed by? Here, in the Hebrew text, every 24th letter, from the top going down, we have Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin, which spells Yeshua. In Psalm chapter 41, verse 8, beginning at verse 7, All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. Verse 8. An evil disease, say they, cleaveth fast unto him. And now, that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. But thou, Yodhebav, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I may requit them. Be this I know, that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. Taking a look again at the Hebrew text, we can see every 14th letter, beginning with Yod, the next letter, Shin, Vav, Ayin, spells Yeshua. We also have a beautiful message, it continues, Ket, Lamed, Yod, which means Yeshua, the polished jewel, or the crown jewel. Here we have another marvelous mystery in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 25. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks the street shall be built again, and the wall even in troubled times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. Question, what is the name of the prince who was to come? Well, the answer can be found, read from the bottom, left to right, every 26th letter. We have Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin, hallelujah. Again, the Messiah, the Prince, his name is Yeshua. Remember, brothers and sisters, if we add a He, an H, or another Vav, we would lose on this beautiful mystery that yod heh vav -Heh desires to show the children of Elohim. Praise Yeshua. I highly encourage you to try to find the name using the same method that you invoke in your prayers or confess among men. Could you find it hidden in plain sight like the above example? In Isaiah 58 verse 13, it reads, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of yod heh vav -Heh, honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Here, every thirteenth letter, beginning from the top, we have Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin. Again, who is the master of the Sabbath? Well, the scriptures declare it's Yeshua. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven? or descended, who hath gathered the winds in his fists, who hath bound the waters in a garment, who hath established all the ends of the earth. What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou knowest? 
every word of Elohim is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add, thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Again, looking at within the text, we see every 26 letter from the top, Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin. Continuing, we have Shin and Yod, which gives us this beautiful message. That his son's name encoded within the text is Yeshua, the gift. Hallelujah, my brothers and sisters. Can you recognize the beauty and the anointing on this beautiful message that the Father wants you to have is such a beautiful gift, is it not? Remember, the whole world is blind to this very question. Before I provided you the answer, were you able to figure out this riddle? What is his name? In Psalms chapter 22, verse 11, it reads, Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me around. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. Which event does this speak about, and who fulfilled this prophecy? Lo and behold, the answer can be found encoded, hidden away for all to see. Every 26th letter we have Aleph, Vav, Tav, Kaf. Yod, Shin, Vav, and Ayin, which gives us this beautiful message, Oth Ka Yeshua, a sign as like Yeshua. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters.